Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. In the last seven years, we've had some really, really big partnerships here on the channel, but I will say the one with Blackline Car Care is by far the most exciting, and here's why. So we have some of the Blackline Car Care products here. You guys know me, when it comes to official partnerships of the channel, I'm not gonna push any junk, I'm not gonna partner with people that I don't believe in. Here in the future, we are going to be making a DBP squad car care line with these guys, and this is why this brand behind me in this partnership is so exciting. Their foam cannon, A1, their spray stuff, awesome. And most elite product this company has ever came out with is their drying towel. These things work and so do all the other Blackline products. If you guys wanna support the channel and support this next business adventure and the DBP Squad detailing line that's soon to come, try out their products and make sure you use promo code DBP Squad. After you receive your orders and try out their products, let me know what you like best because we're gonna add that to the official DBP Squad detailing line. Link in the description, promo code DBP Squad, and I promise guys, I will never push a product that is junk. And I have had such a hard time finding that perfect company that just fits the overall image here on Derek Brand Productions and I'm just so excited for this. I want you guys to try it and I know every one of you detail your car so why not detail with Blackline Car Care. Alright guys, so as of yesterday, the car is officially tuned on 93 with Lund. Uh, we did use this new little device that I just uh, just started messing with. The first time I ever used the RTD. Um, it's a funny story about this thing, man. Uh, they're, they're good. It's really cool technology and stuff, but I got screwed on this one. And I'm going to share that with you um, in today's video because with the 93 tune being 100% completed, I did order the E85 tune through them as well. And today, as you saw, putting the E85 jugs in the trunk, we are going to attempt to tackle that today. I have the first E85 base tune, and I got a feeling it's gonna be right on the money because Lund sent me the 93 base tune and it was perfect, like flawless. So we didn't even do one revision, it was ready to rock. That's the great thing about you know a company like Lund is the fact that they have had every single combination of Coyote car modification-wise that you could literally think of tuned so in my case stock Mach 1 long tube headers that's it literally um it's easy easy peasy lemon squeezy and my god i'm in the wrong business man i i should invest into a really smart geek to start tuning for me it, it's crazy man <laughs> it's nuts just just phew, file here bam 750 let's roll i do have some more 93 to burn out of the tank uh, let me see where we're at 42 miles we're right under a quarter of a tank i gotta do some driving got to do some driving and get this thing as download as possible to zero. This is a crucial step though because you want to drain the tank of all the 93 as much as possible because uh, you don't really want to go and start mixing stuff and we're not going to be running a flex fuel tune. Uh, personally speaking, I think those are absolutely pointless on these cars. If you run E85 for the performance side of things, run E85 and I don't even think Lun offers flex fuel tunes as it is so there's, there's a reason for it when i was data logging the 93 tune yesterday i could tell a significant difference between the tremec six speed and the 10r80 just from doing like watts and the 10 speed and then watts and the tremec like those 10 speeds are no joke man I just spent the last 45 minutes just driving aimlessly around to burn some of this gas out and I managed to get it down to 17 miles till E, which I'm going to call it there just because I don't want to run, you know, the pumps too dry because the fuel does act as a coolant for your pumps. Not a coolant, but a cooler 
um, you know, the liquid keeps them cool and you don't want to fry your pumps out. So we're not going to chance it and run it any lower. Um, we are about to pull up to sheets right now though. Again, this is the only spot really that's kind of close to me for E85. So if you're ever in the Richmond area looking for E85, sheets on West Broad is pretty much the only place. We're going to get OMAV parked up at the pump. I'm going to set up this whole RTD thing, tell you why I dislike it, why I do like it, and how exactly I got mine to work. All right, so listen up. First things first, the RTD tuning device. This is like the newest stuff on the market right now. This allows you to plug it in, OBD2 port, bam, and pretty much download data log, send to your tuner, link pretty much everything through a tablet, or a smartphone. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown as to how I got screwed and why I hate this little device right here and this one specifically. Camaro guys are pretty cool. As stated, this is the RTD tuning device by HP Tuners and really quick, I wanna set the record straight, this is not the RTD Plus. They make an RTD and an RTD Plus. As you can see, I have the peasant base model like, you know, Minion, and this is the RTD. Now, I didn't know there was two different ones when I bought this. I bought this about six months ago. It was brand new off a guy. He just never used it. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and snag this because I'm going to use it in the future. Well, I wish I did my research because the regular RTD came out in 2019, and this was HP Tuner's, like, first model. And this model right here only works and connects to an Android device. I have Apple devices. I did not know the regular RTD only took Android devices until I was about 48 hours of research, of getting this damn thing connecting to my iPhone, which never happened, plugging it into a computer, downloading firmwares, updating drivers, replugging it in, bringing computers, getting other tablets and stuff from friends. It was a mess. It was an absolute mess. I, I was so close and absolutely sending it into the woods because I could not figure out why my phone would not connect to this damn thing. On a scale of one through 10 on my anger level of not being able to get this to work, I was at an easy 10 and a half. Burned up a whole day, legit a whole day and then another day of just looking shit up. It would have been nice if on the box it said Androids only because then I probably wouldn't have read it but at least I could have blamed myself. And it might be on the box, I don't know, but regardless. Long story short, Joel helped me out, he did some research, he was like, yo, the regular RTD is only for Androids, and I was like, damn, I ain't got an Android, and I ain't got an Android that has internet access because you need, you know, a source of internet. I know you're asking yourself, well, what did you do to get it to work? And it's pretty pretty grimy, not gonna lie, I, I, I might go to hell for this. So what I did is went over to my friend Tyler's and I literally mugged his two-year-old of their little tablet here, you know, where he watches YouTube, plays his games, probably Animal Crossing or, you know, Coco Melon, I don't know. But yeah, I took his tablet and I was like, yo, I'm borrowing this thing, I need an Android device. You're just gonna have to get it over a little dude. He threw an attitude, proceeded to try to bite me in the shin and it was just, it was a whole ordeal. But I came out on top, I got the tablet, it is Android and this is how I set up up the RTD and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we have our RTD plugged into the OBD2, we got a green light which is good and then I got the Android device and I have my phone sitting up there because I'm actually hot spotting internet connection from my phone to the tablet. I know it's kind of janky, little sketch, not gonna lie, you know, downloading tune files to an ECU over hotspot and Bluetooth, like it's a mess, but you know what? We're gonna do it because I'm an absolute genius and it worked already for the 93 tune. So we're gonna open up our TDN app and everything is connected, got internet, got battery, and we're gonna go to flash and we are going to write vehicle. The tune needs to be sent to RCD. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna sync files. Boom, let that do its thing. So I did have a weird little pop-up saying something wasn't uh, correct, but I hit ignore. So we're gonna try to upload it anyway. It seems to be working and it does say 2018 plus forward. So that's what we want. But we're loading the tune now and we will see what happens. 98%, so far so good, 99, 100, turn off ignition. Seemed like everything worked, time to fill her up with E85 for the very first time. E85 right now is $2.65 a gallon. I think 93 was about $3.70 or 80 cents, so it is a little bit cheaper, but as you guys know, it does burn a, uh, I think it's like 30% quicker. $71, we'll say 27 gallons later, we have a full car and two full VP jugs of E85 to take home. So really not that bad, because I think it takes like $60 
to fill this car only with 93. Well, here we go, guys. First startup, Mach 1, long tube headers, 350 manifold, 350 cold air intake, Lund E85 tune. Let's see how she goes. Oh yeah, I can tell the 93 is still on fuel rails, but after you convert your car from fuel to fuel, um, it's good practice to just sit here and let it idle for about 10 to 15 minutes, just so you can get all that old 93 out of the injectors, out of the fuel lines, the fuel rails. So one last thing I gotta go ahead and wrap up before the weekend, because Lund is closed Saturday and Sunday, and I wanna make sure the car is you know ready to rock for the weekend just in case you know we go out and do something i have to go and record just one watt log so we're going to do that as soon as this idling process is done and i'm going to send it over to him and i'll show you how to do that as well oh yeah she's snappier She's definitely snappier. God, I love that feeling of a Mustang NA E85. It's some of the most fun driving you can honestly do because you can beat on the car, you can rip it, you get that Coyote power up top, and you know, you're not doing 200 miles per hour like if you have a blower on one of these cars. Oh my God. She feels good. So same process applies when you want a data log, but we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do that. Start her up. So we have our data log started. As soon as we click that stop button, it'll obviously stop. So I'm gonna set this right in there because I've noticed if your orientation flips, it legit cancels out the whole thing. All right, here we go. Still should be good. this quick and all right there we go first data log turn the suit around real quick just sunk the file it's that third log right there you just click upload boom it's gonna upload it to Lun server and they're gonna get it directly and then I just got to shoot them an email be like yo fastest Mach 1 on the planet Bama tuned just sent you a data log check it out let me know what you think and there we go guys we got our okay tunes ready to rock but I did just fall into another little issue I'm getting that uh, factory active exhaust error where it just says randomly active exhaust is not available and I just did some research and it seems that the wiring harness in the actuators that go into the mufflers to open and close the valves it seems like they hit the body of the car and it can short it out so we got to deal with that i have to get that fixed driving me up a wall but other than that car feels so good i'm currently in the garage with jordan yet again and we have maverick as you can tell up on jack stands again yet again does that make sense we did get another package from steeda well two packages as you can see uh we have a set of caster camera plates which Seems like we have another set right here, brand new. And then we have another box of springs. Now, the springs that we threw on the car were the Steeda Dual Rate Magna Ride Springs. Now, these are the best springs you can get for a Magna Ride car, no doubt. The feeling of this car right now feels absolutely amazing. It handles so well. But with the setup, I wasn't quite happy with how the car's fitment was with the 19-inch stock wheels and tires. So. All right, I'm not a stance boy. The bags, they're gone. So Steeda actually sent me their Steeda Magna Ride Sport Springs. Now, these aren't going to be as good as the dual rates when it comes to the performance side of things. 
but these are gonna drop it a little bit lower and the fitment looks incredible. I've seen photos with, you know, the same exact track pack wheel and tire setup, which I don't plan on changing. I love this wheel and tire setup on the car, but I do want the fitment to be clean. You guys know me. We're gonna knock this out real quick. We'll pick it back up when it's all done and we're gonna go surprise Tyler with his new setup. What really happens behind the scenes? <laughs> So it's currently the next day. We did finish up the Steeda Sports Spring install on Maverick. It did lower it a little bit more, honestly. I don't even know if it's very noticeable, but we did run into one issue which kind of blows. Thankfully though, I think there is a quick little fix to this. I just gotta wait until it comes in. If you're gonna lower your S550 2015 to up, please keep in mind that, you know, when you do change the geometry of the suspension, you will have to adjust the, you know, the rear IRS and subframe. So as you could probably tell, this right passenger side rear wheel sticks out farther than the left. And that's no bueno, especially when you go and get this thing all realigned. So in order to get these things realigned and centered back perfectly, you wanna go and get the Steeda Mustang alignment kit for the rear subframe. It's essentially these like hard polyurethane bushings that slide into the subframe and then the bolt slides in between them. So it's like perfectly aligned when bolting it back up. I'm waiting on that to come into the mail and we're gonna slap that in and then we're gonna take it to go get a fresh alignment. And I think we're gonna go and align the car with the Mach 1 handling package uh, street specs. That's kind of where I'm at with it right now. So the car, you know, I'm not gonna drive it around for a little bit, which sucks. But, uh, you know, there's really not much I can do, and I want to do it right. I don't want to cut corners or anything, so we're just going to wait for that little bushing kit to come in, slap them in, go get an alignment, and I will let you know how the Steeda Sport springs for Magna Ride feel compared to the dual rates. So we got Karma in here, and we're going to address the broken lip today. Take this off and install the one we showed you last time. And Ready to get your hands dirty? Yes. All right, let's give her a go. So just pulled the... Old lip, and this thing is so flimsy. I mean, it worked well. This one's light, cheap, this one's thick as hell. The good news is though, the mounting holes look identical, so putting this one back up should be a breeze. So we just got done installing the new lip. Looks really sick, and we're gonna get it off the board. It looks really good. Take a peek. Looks good. Do you like it? If you guys want to check out more parts, go visit our friends over at Extreme Online Store. You can get a lot of different modifications for your car and make sure you use promo code DBP Squad. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. As soon as the Mach 1 is back and dialed with the alignment, you best believe we're going to go out and do some hard rips on the car because it feels insane. Wish I could have done that for you all today, but I kind of sold. So. It is what it is. <laughs> Remember, if you want to support the channel and myself in one of the biggest partnerships I've ever landed with this channel, please go purchase some car care products from Blackline Car Care and use the promo code DBP Squad. You can find everything in the description of this video. We have collection 001 dropping this month. Go to www.dbpsquad.shop. Take a quick little peek of the new shirt that's about to drop, and I cannot wait. Only 300, so be ready. But until next time, fam, love y'all so much. Deuces.